Terry, one word, just one word, and we could probably talk for an hour on that, and that would be convergence. You and I have been watching this for a fair number of decades. What are your thoughts about the convergence? Wow, I, that's all I can say is wow. Uh, yeah. Everything, every direction you look, you know, Jesus said, as recorded in Luke twenty-one twenty-eight, when you see all these things are beginning to come mm-hmm. to pass and look up, up your head for your redemption is drawing near. And every direction we look on the prophetic horizon, we see things happening precisely like Jesus forewarned in the Olivet Discourse and and like the uh, Old Testament and New Testament prophets told us about. All these things come together, and that word is convergence. Uh, I think that is a major word for our time in Bible prophecy. And I want to stay on this distress with perplexity for a few minutes here, because, again, that's Luke 21, 25, there shall be signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars, and upon the earth, distress with perplexity of nations, the sea and the waves roaring, and that literally means problems for which there are no solutions. And you say this, you say news out of every nation proves just how crazy life on earth has become. Threats of every sort lurk in far distant places and more and more often directly assault much nearer to where we live. Terry, again, convergence, distress with perplexity, all the nations having some sort of dilemma. Again, in your lifetime and mine, perhaps not that we can remember, correct? Exactly. I agree wholeheartedly, Jan. Uh, it's just uh, no matter which direction you look in, you can name every continent, and, yeah. um, and there's a problem. Yeah, well, I mean, I saw the CNN homepage. This is a few weeks ago. It was right after the Dallas tragedy with the policemen down there. The CNN homepage, huge, and it just had the following words on it. Is there a leader who can stop the chaos? I think that is the sentiment almost around the world, and I believe he's waiting in the wings, don't you? I do, you know. We, we can go back to that that Henry Spock said yes, back Henry. Uh, years mm-hmm. ago. You know, give us a, send us a, a man who can solve these problems, be he man or be he devil, we'll, we'll accept him with open arms. And uh, certainly the world is looking for that rider on the white horse of Revelation chapter 6, basically. Yeah, Spock said that he was a NATO spokesman, I believe, might have been mm-hmm. uh, head of NATO, I'm not sure, but it's so many years ago, and I've only seen it in print, but he, yep, he said, give us a man, be he a god or devil, we will receive him. And all of this, just instability prepares the way for the anti Christ, and I believe as Ron Rhodes does, Terry James, that the devil has had an antichrist waiting in the wings, always, because he doesn't know when the very end of the end happens to come. I think you're right. I think there's no doubt about it. History shows the great uh, tyrants of the times, and a lot of them came in actually on promises of making things right mm-hmm. for their people. Yeah. And uh, well, we just look at Hitler as one of the you know prime examples, Mussolini too. And they pro- come in promising uh, peace and prosperity, you know, a Volkswagen in every yeah. garage and so forth. But it always ends up the same because man's mind is fallen, and Satan always has uh, just a certain person for any era, I believe, ready to redirect their minds toward evil. Whether it's terrorism, police shootings, economic turmoil, we've got nations collapping, my goodness, Venezuela, Mideast nations, mm-hmm. we've got disease, we've got refugees, we've got Brexit, we've got racial strife, we've got monetary madness, and you write about a lot of these things in this new book, Rapture Ready or Not. I want to play, though, it's just about a two-minute sound by to Pastor Tom Hughes. He's pastor of 412 Church in California. I think he sums this up well, and it, it reminds me of some of the articles you have posted on your primary website, which is raptureready.com. And Tom just, he starts talking about the issues of the day, and I feel like I'm reading Rapture Ready. People from all backgrounds believe something big is coming. Uh, they're uncertain about the economy and question the leaders that they have chosen. In the United States, liberals and conservatives alike are voicing their distrust and disdain for the direction their leaders leaders have taken them and civil unrest is increasing everywhere there's a political gathering and it's not just the United States. Europe is done with their leaders who they believe have lied to them. As they watch Europe implode their leaders seem to do nothing except welcome more terrorists. But underlying those things are perilous events that are shaking the world and rattling nerves. Massive earthquakes have struck Japan and Ecuador and other regions along the Ring of Fire with a threat of much more to come. And then listen to this. There are currently 38 active volcanoes worldwide. 38! Uh, And then add to that, 
the ever-increasing Zika virus as it is getting stronger, plus a yellow fever outbreak in Angola that is reported could be a threat to the entire world. Listen, if that was all, that would be enough. But there is more, much more. Wait till you hear what is happening worldwide right now. Listen, what's going on? And what does the Bible say about these things? We're about to find out. The Bible says, know this, in the last days, perilous times will come. Are we in those times? Are we in the last days? I believe that we are. Listen, the word for perilous that the Bible uses in that passage, it comes from a Greek word that means dangerous or troublesome or a time of reducing strength. A time of reducing strength. Listen, our world seems to be in that time. Just listen to some of the uh, headlines from some of these articles. Here's one of them. The big ones. Scientists warns up to four quakes over eight Point o are possible under current conditions. Here's another article. Shake and bake. Quakes, volcanoes in sudden eruption spree. And then here's another article. Will Yellowstone erupt in 2016? Shock video shows dramatic shift in seismic activity. And then we add to that, listen to this, a yellow fever outbreak. This is reported by The Independent. Yellow fever outbreak in Angola is threat to the entire world. Wow, I look at these things and I cannot help but think that these are perilous times, dangerous and troubling troublesome times. You're listening to Understanding the Times Radio. I'm Jan Markell. I have on the line uh, Terry James, and he's got a new book that we are carrying, Rapture Ready or Not, 15 Reasons. This is the generation that will be left behind. You can find it in my store, olivetreeviews.org. Views as in viewpoint, olivetreeviews.org. You can call my office. We can get it out to you. It'll be in our next print and e-newsletter as well. And Terry James, and I want to stick on the theme of Perilous Times, Times here for just another couple of minutes. But why the subtitle, 15 Reasons This is the Generation That Will Be Left Behind? And I know you're listing the 15 reasons, but why do you think this is the generation that will be left behind? Well, uh, the primary reason, if you want to get down to the bottom line, primary reason is I believe Israel and where we stand uh, with regard to Israel and the nations putting pressure on the international community, putting pressure on Israel to give up land for peace. Mm -hmm. The Bible says in Joel chapter 3, verse 2, that because you've divided my land, I will bring the, all the nations of the world into the Valley of Jehoshaphat, which, of course, is the area of Megiddo, of Israelon, and so forth, of Jezreel, and Megiddo, and, and it's Armageddon. I say Israel being in the limelight. Zechariah chapter 12, verses 1 through 3 said that Israel and Jerusalem will become a crop of trembling and a burdensome stone to the whole world. Anybody that tries to change things there will be in great trouble with the Lord. And for that reason, he will again bring people into a place called Armageddon. And so if I wanted to boil all of this down, all of these 15 reasons down, well, it would come down to this final, and that mm -hmm. is that Israel is in the center of, of all controversy, just as God said it would be at the very end of the age before Christ's second advent.